What's going on guys, it's me, Mr. Castle, and I have something very, very important to share with you guys today um, in terms of TikTok and uh, just really how important it really is. And I have a few examples I'm gonna show on my own personal channel, but on a specific Fortnite streamer's uh, channel who's actually still in high school, he went from 2,500 subscribers in one year on YouTube to around 700k so you guys are gonna definitely want to stick around for this I'm gonna show you how to go through the process of making a video and then just kind of some ideas you should have in your mind for content creation and then I'm gonna show you this guy's channel on all the platforms and I'm gonna go through try to go through kind of the whole nine yards for you guys but you guys are not going to miss this stick around Mr. Castle again here. Um, we're gonna go through basically the video making process now. So just so you guys know, I'm not blowing hot air. I'm at 57.8K subscribers here. And if you look at my last few videos, 2,600, 6,400, you really can't tell there with the, the white thumbnail or the white text where it says WTF. Um, I had one eight one eighty nine k one eighty nine point nine k. It's still growing. Another one here two hundred sixty three k. Um, I kind of hit a rough patch, but I'm starting to be on the up and up again. But we're just gonna in this part of the video show you how you should be going about making a TikTok video, especially if you're a gamer, um, and just for people who want to grow in general on TikTok. So we go into press the plus sign here, and you can see my beautiful face anyways we click on uploads this is where you're gonna upload and uh, we'll get into that in a second if you are a gamer per se and we're gonna pick one that has no audio just so I can show you so you can edit the clip you know however long you want it by clicking on these uh, sidebars and then you can go to each individual part in the video if you drag this bar and then I think you can slow-mo here or make it faster. You have to make it faster. That stuff doesn't really matter. You, you just kind of have to play with a lot of this stuff to figure it out. But biggest part of this is you're going to click on sounds. And there's these things called recommended. Now, you can try these. Now, I've done a few and I've gotten some videos to absolutely blow up I had like one almost hit a million and it was just like a tips video but um, what I try to do is I go to search and then there's a few different things you really this app is all about playing around but uh, you're gonna want to click on trending and I'll talk about a few other things and you got all these sounds these are the music part of the app here so Tokyo, Don Oliver. I did this one like last week for a music video, and it got like 10.2k. Which, once you get to knowing how to use TikTok, that's really not that much. You really want to hit like 100 plus k's if you can, at least like 20k. It's really it's kind of hard to get like 10 or 20k the day a video comes out. So you really have to figure out what's gonna blow up for you if you wanna grow fast. Um, and then you got these recommended sounds. <laughs> oh my gosh, so that Pikachu sound right there. And you can click on use this sound or try another. I'm actually gonna save that and click on try another. Hey man, you want some pizza for lunch? Yeah! Oh my god, I am definitely definitely going to use that sound for a Fortnite skit. <laughs> but anyways, you got all these different options, new releases here. You just have to play around with it, but you kind of want to focus on things that are trending. So this is just one form of how to look up something if you're kind of on the lazier side for video creation on TikTok. Now, uh, depending on what content you do, it's kind of harder for gamers in my opinion, but you're going to really want to stay, uh, look at this page a lot. It's the discovery page and you're going to have all of your new, basically challenges is what they call them. Um, and something you kind of want to do here, you see how it says like 514 million for hand gestures and 
Okay, here This guy got a million for some stupid little video. <laughs> I think he used TikTok to edit this. I'm actually gonna follow this guy. He's kinda funny. Dang it. And I don't think it matters if you follow a bunch of people here on TikTok. Uh, I just kind of try to follow everyone just because um, I like to stay updated um, on pretty much as many eyes, I, people on the platform I can. Wow, future tech. People really like the reviews, so I'm going to keep it going. This is my Logitech G502. I wonder if this guy's getting sponsored. So this guy's kind of smart. He's using TikTok to possibly get a sponsor. So that's one way you can use TikTok. Um, I haven't messed with it too much. I do plan I on really messing with this. it a lot more. I just followed that dude. But like I was saying, here's the discovery page. Here's all the challenges. Um, you're gonna look, see this food war one, only 16 million. So not everyone's kind of jumped on board. Oh, it's about eight days old though maybe it's just not that popular but i try to look at these hashtags that don't have as many um views on them and i would try to do something for them so back to work and also what you're going to want to do when you look at these trending hashtags i'm going to turn it down a little bit um does it have the actual tag in it um, let's see, back to work. Does this guy have the... So, I don't know, TikTok picks these or what? Because some people, I'm pretty... Yep, this guy actually has the back to work. <laughs> this guy actually see in the bottom left-hand corner above where it says Rocky theme. This guy actually has um, the hashtag back to work. So, uh, I'd look at the people's hashtags people are using um and try to use those and also i wouldn't be afraid to branch off to some smaller hashtags because the e the more hashtags you you have which i know i've said three hashtags but i've been playing around with it and i've been using usually around eight hashtags um you you want to use kind of diversify your hashtags so use some popular and then use some non-popular as far as i've been you know kind of playing around on the app um, it's been working, I mean, decently. I don't, I'm not sure if hashtags really matter that much. I think all they do is they just help point your audience in the direction you want them to go in. So we got this uh, discovery page. You know, you definitely want to pay attention to it. If you're a gamer creator, um, I see a lot of people just throwing these uh, hashtags in their, uh, in their actual video. And uh, I would try to make them relatable. Um, like this is quitting. You know, you can almost apply that to so much. I think by using those hashtags, I, a lot of bigger, for me, Fortnite creators, they are able to um, utilize those hashtags to help boost their views on a video. So here, let's look up this guy named Sushi Bay. We've looked at him before. Um, wow, did he really not get many views on that last video? When did he post it? So, I don't know, he posts some kind of different videos for Thank sure. Thank enrolling your daughter into her new daycare. Okay, he's got some. So, okay, for example, this video right here, he has an X, Y, Y Z B C A back to work. That's what I like. I'm pretty sure you use literally three different hashtags that um, basically are not even kind of related to his video, um, but they're challenge hashtags. He only got 88k. His views are starting to. Oh, we got 1.4 million on that one. So oh, whoopsie. I mean, he's wow. He lost some follow. Did he lose followers? No, he he was at 1.2. So he just got. 100k yeah that's crazy once you get this high you just get so many he's got 45 million likes that's nuts it almost makes me feel like is he is he doing those like click farm sites or whatever but i'm not gonna speculate i mean i don't mind his content um but uh 
anyways, moving on. So, um, yes, you want to pay attention to this page here. Watch him go. Watch him roll it. Uh, also, Watch him roll it. Watch we're going to stop that. <laughs> Pause this for a second. Yeah. So how TikTok works is whatever you like, that's a machine learning algorithm. So as a user, whatever you like, you're basically going to keep getting more of that type of content. So if you like something that you don't necessarily like and you keep seeing it, all the time uh you may want to stop that but here we got the for you page at the top here um you want to pay attention to this you want to scroll through it and uh just kind of hear that you you'll hear multiple sounds um like one day i heard what was it yesterday i heard the emperor palpatine it's treason Rah! you know the whole part of uh the episode three and the star wars movie and people are making all these memes of it. You've been seeing a lot of World War Three memes, which are kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Here, I, I made one. I'll play it for you really quick. It's really stupid. So, military personnel. We got Millennial. So, I was hoping this video was going to blow up. I tagged it people who think they'll actually be drafted. And I put some popular... Um, tags in there and then put millennial in there which 43 million see i click on a tag boom you see how many people are using that so i'm probably not anywhere towards the top here but um and it's funny because it's 43 million i kind of thought oh that's a smaller hashtag maybe you want to focus on tash tags there in the hundreds of thousands for example i posted this video got 14k likes <laughs> um i put a hashtag in here and noticed that is at the top i put fortnite music video and this topic only had i think uh, like 10k or something i basically had the majority of the merry views christmas. okay this guy might have got a few views because he has a thousand merry christmas something. so he probably got around 10k views or something but i have really 14 times as much likes as he does but I think how TikTok works is basically if you can get to a top of a page like this, it's going to help you push out um, your content to the For You page. Now, if we go to analytics, which if you get a thousand subscribers, you can switch your account to a pro account. Click on the three dots at the top right hand corner. Here's my analytics. Um, and let's see, we'll do content. So yeah, that's been trending. We click on that video and 96% of the people that, <gasps> excuse me, have been watching this are um, on the For You page, which is what you want. You have a, you know, the videos that don't do as well. Here, I'll show you one real quick. Oh, shoot, I went too far. Um, so I posted uh, this one, which I thought was going to blow up. 49% following and then 42 percent for you and then personal profile which is good i mean you want people utilizing that and then i had united states for this one that last one i had surprisingly germany so i don't know <laughs> they're into weird stuff i'm into weird stuff i'm part german anyways don't judge me uh <laughs> so yeah it's pretty interesting how you can look at uh how the statistics here let's see this one about this one this one I thought was going to blow up again. It only had like 50k the first time. Uh, TikTok, I think, has changed a little bit since then. So, oh, 70% for you. Okay. 23%, 4%. United States. I don't know what it is, but the U.S. and Germany, I get, that's like where I get all my views. <laughs> but anyways... You definitely want to pay attention to this page right here. Yeah, he be rolling down the street. So you can he press be the whole button to, the beat. He to switch to the next video. Or you can swipe. I think if you swipe up, it'll take you back. Wait, what? Okay, I don't know. 28 
Sometimes I just like you stuff want a guy like that's it. sweet, a guy that's that. tough, a feminist who likes to pay for stuff, the kind of guy that gets along with your friends without being attracted to any of them. Oh my them. gosh, I have to use this sound. That's a uh, Bo Dur, uh, Bo Dur. I forgot his name, but he's a comedian. But yeah, people do. The TikTok is the wild, wild west right now. You can literally just use anything. So, all right. Um, okay. So we're gonna get out of this, and we're gonna get to the main reason you probably clicked on this video. I know I've been kind of rambling, but you definitely want to look at the challenges page you definitely want to look at the for you page you definitely want to look at the trending music um when you go to upload a video and the recommended you want to pay attention to all that and just it's all about testing you just want to test to see what works and what doesn't work so for me i've been kind of changing up my strategy i've been trying to focus on more niche content like more like music videos and skits um, the, scene, the skits have been working out, but I think I need to focus a little more on music videos. Um, and I've been using sounds on the app. I try to make my own sounds. I even made a rap. Uh, some of my skits haven't done too bad. Here, we'll go to this one's got eight. This is a decent. If I made the contender, so I won't. Uh, almost 2K likes. I won't make you suffer by watching. But uh, yeah, you just you really just have to play around and then see what works. And once you find what works, just stick with it and do as much of that type of content. For example, this guy was doing Fortnite in real life videos. He um, ship was streaming, but uh, he was doing Fortnite or not Fortnite, but Elder Scrolls Skyrim in real life. And he had a few videos uh, pop off by doing those, and he's done like. 10 of them. He has like a 10 part series and I think millions of followers. So anyways, we're going to this gentleman, I think who is still in high school, Absorber. So this is super important. So it's actually insane how much this guy has grown. So he's got almost a million followers. He does this thing called uh, girl voice trolling on YouTube. And as you can tell, he's got some decent views. Uh, yep, 12 million on this one. My um, goodness. Michael? Yeah, baby? Oh my god. Some of these are cringe. Like, I can't even watch them, but they're like so ridiculous. <laughs> like, I can see why he's kind of blown up because it's kind of like a, I don't know, an edgy thing, I guess. Um,. Where he's just trolling these kids in game where they think he's a girl. And some of these kids or guys are thirsty. And they're like, oh, a girl on a game. You know, like they're talking to him, playing with him. You know, get something creative. Which, if you know what that is, it's like basically a custom game together. But the really kind of showcase, this guy has probably, I don't know, I'm guessing... So one, two, three across, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. So three times twenty-five. So he has under a hundred videos, and I have over two hundred videos. So if that tells you anything about my efficiency. <laughs> But this guy has been super efficient. He's basically snowballed three or four different platforms alg algorithms, in my opinion. So, Absorber YT, here in his description, girl voice trolling full video on my YouTube channel. Press the YouTube icon. So, what he does is, you see all these video uh, thumbnails here. We're going to pause this video. Girl voice trolling a thirsty 17 year old and has a little emoji with a, you know, slobbering icon. Full video and bio. So people are like, oh, okay. Um, let's see if he uses the same um, chat. Um, oh, yeah, well. Hey, good so, luck. F you trash can. Uh, um, here, here, I'm really curious. Here, let's look at his, uh, So he 
dominates this niche. He basically... I think he made his own tag, which is genius. I have a little girl character voice that I need to get into. So, um, anyways, he, I'm pretty sure, just found this or made it himself. It's got 100 million views, which I'm assuming he's responsible. I mean, it looks like for the majority of those views. Um, so that's one thing, but... Like I was saying, yep, he has this thing, it basically, he tags it in each video, and then if you click on his profile, here we'll go. So he, he uses his own sounds too, which is crazy, but he's done enough of these videos, or like they're good enough, they get the views here on TikTok. Because the one thing I realized is, if you don't use sounds, if you make a good video, it will get views, it will go do well in the algorithm so i don't know it sometimes i feel subjective to that where i'm like oh i made a good video and it didn't blow up or something but you know this guy's made it work um so he he has this system where people are going to his youtube his instagram like clockwork so we click on the youtube icon we can click on youtube or instagram we'll click on his instagram for example and 48,000 followers. Now, we're going to go to... Oh, here's this girl. She's very pretty. <laughs> okay. Anyways, we're going to go to Twitter real quick. Um, I got a lot of notifications. So, all right. We are going to go to Absorber. We're going to look at this tweet he posted. So, this is nuts. And I, I can kind of attest to this guy. So, January 1st, 2019. YouTube subscribers, 2,500. Instagram followers, 400. Twitter followers, 90. Average views per video, 500. Which isn't very much. January 1st, 2020. YouTube subscribers, 600. Hundred thousand, and he's like I think around seven hundred k now. Instagram followers forty thousand, Twitter followers four thousand. Average views per video, one point five million. It's nuts, and he's already at five k followers. All right, almost six k. <laughs> like this guy has figured it out. Like this is literally what you need to be doing. Is what this guy is doing right here on TikTok. Now, I found it very interesting that he didn't mention TikTok on there. It's almost like he wants to keep it a secret. I don't know. I'm probably speculating. But uh, that's just nuts. Like, I actually have been following this guy. And I've been, like, looking at him because I saw he, his YouTube channel had a lot of subscribers. I like to do research on people. And he literally only had, like, 100,000 last time I checked on him. I've been doing this since uh october like really hard like on tiktok and this guy's figured it out like so if you said here let's look at the first video he posted 2019 first video 9 7 september 7th and he's using hashtags like make me popular make me famous Obviously, TikTok was a little different uh, then. So his first five videos, he got a decent amount of views on, which is surprising. So it might have been luck. I know the first five videos on TikTok are the most important for like views and whatnot. I can kind of show you an example here. So um, I don't know. I'm maybe I'm subjective, but there's this guy named Bryson good dude we talk here and there on uh, instagram and uh this guy is getting ridiculous amounts of views so he doesn't really um set up his videos like absorber does he's getting the view his views are starting to go down a little bit but uh okay guys new challenge hold your breath in three two one go i bet you four hundred dollars a new supreme hat a new pro headset, 
and 5,000 V-Bucks that you can't like, comment, and share this video while holding your breath. So he's really digging deep for the views. <laughs> Flexing the money, the V-Bucks. So I don't know if that's going to work. We'll see. When did he post it? Okay, guys. New 14 hours ago. I mean, he's getting V. I mean, I wish I had these views, <laughs> but it's not like groundbreaking content you know but look i mean he's kind of more dry humor but hey it's working and he's using a hashtag Yo, I just strategy did a like he uses fyp for you fortnite man i just don't know how like i might just try using those hashtags or my own set of hashtags but i'm really hoping everything i've explained i know i've really beaten this whole thing like a dead horse but i'm really hoping all the stuff i've explained and showed is really gonna help you guys succeed um in this tiktok endeavor that you should 100 percent be taking i mean based off that tweet alone and i can attest to his growth because i've followed him for a while that you should be on tiktok because you are literally snowballing the algorithm you're getting people that you can easily here we'll show you again here on my profile page you can click on the YouTube icon, and I can even attest to my growth since I've started back in October. I've gotten gotten probably 200 followers from TikTok, on or subscribers. So you can literally click on either one, Instagram or you know, uh, YouTube. And even my take my Instagram has grown at least a hundred from TikTok. So. I mean, I'm, I'm a, on a much smaller scale, but if you, you supplement this correctly and kind of find a niche and something that's going to drive people to your content, dude, you can... That This kid's probably, excuse me, doing YouTube full-time. If not, I mean, he's probably finishing school, but I literally saw him the other day tweeting out at people for sponsorships. So, like, he's gonna be full-time if he's not already i mean he's he's making he'll be able to make a living off youtube so so we know we really rambled on and beat that one like a dead horse but i like it gets me excited to talk about this stuff and if you manage to stick around this long i hope you guys can like comment and subscribe below the video in the description not the description, I'm so stupid, in the comment section. Anyways, I've been rambling too long, but this opportunity is so great, and I've been rethinking my strategy every single day because I have a dream of being full-time content creator, probably like many of you out there on the internets. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this was very helpful and informative to you. Um, you know, just if you guys have any questions or other videos you want me to make, uh, feel free to throw those down in the comments. This is me, Mr. Kessler, and we'll catch you on the next video.